your officials for tonight's contest, Mr. Alan Miller, Mr. Galen Mossinger, and Mr. Scott Buttermeyer. Gentlemen, welcome to Hicksville. Now for your starting lineups, first of all for the visiting Miller City Wild Cats. Starting net guard, six foot one inch senior, number zero, Ross Neese. Starting net guard, five foot eight inch senior, number five, TJ Michael. Starting net guard, five foot ten inch junior, number 20, Austin Rui. Starting net forward, six foot four inch senior, number one, Devin Easter. Starting net forward, six foot one inch senior, number 32, John Burkow. And now, the starting lineup for your expellation! Starting at guard, a 5 foot 11 inch junior, number 2. Bill Murphy from Hicksville Community Television, Jim Seiler alongside to call the play-by-play. -play. Jump center circle and tip controlled by the Aces. Brian Williams, our cameraman tonight, glad to have you with us. Aces with the ball to get started with the play-by-play. -play. Here's okay. Jim Seiler. Aces with it. Turnbull hands the ball. <laughs> Headed for the basket. Gets pushed from behind. We saw a really physical game in the junior varsity contest, Jim, and we're kind of expecting more of the same here in the varsity match. Yes, we are. Austin Rui with Powell. Boom. Three-pointer from Josh Myers. And the Aces might need a hot start here tonight. They're going to need a, a lot of help. <clears throat> a few baskets to fall. Number one is Pester. Five is Michael. Michael with the ball. Nice is zero. 20 is Rui. He's with the ball. Over to 32, that's Joe Burgai. John Burgai. Myers gives to Slattery. Slattery spins inside, gets out of the lane. <laughs> Flattery. Look, gives the Turnbull from way downtown, in and out, and that'll be on ball serve. Ball serve. Team foul number one for the Aces, and Balser picks up his first personal. And here come the Wildcats. Stolen away. Deflected around there. Bergman comes up with it. Bergman behind his back. Yeah. And we're going to have a foul. <laughs> be a 
common foul on the floor. 20. Rui gets his second. Wow. He'll be setting down. And he comes out of the game. Plopped his seat in the seat. Thomas <coughs> Weiss in for him. Or maybe it's Weiss. It's Weiss. Weiss, that's what I thought. Bergman, no. Nope. Bergman shot no good. Bergai pulled out there with a the ball. Neefs up the floor. <coughs> Balser working on him. Neefs jumper is no good. Neefs gets his own rebound and puts it down. Gets it to go down. Devin that makes it a Ross three to two game. Balser with it. Yeah, we had uh, his. I'm not sure if it's his younger brother or a cousin, but Silas niece lit, it, lit everything up in the. Uh, oh, Bergen. Bergman with the rebound. Gets the bucket. Makes it five to two. Yeah, Silas niece also on the uh, varsity roster. Yes. He had like 15 points in the JV game. Right. Cross court. Weiss. Bergman with a steal. Gonna go to the hoop. Oh. And it's gonna be off blue. White ball. A little bit too much momentum going yep. to the hoop. He was trying to slow himself down and just yeah. sort of touch it up there. and. Still had just a little too much on. Oh Not man, what a great play! Great play. Nice cut. Nice eyes. Ace is up now, seven to two, with five minutes to go in our opening quarter. Nice running the point, oh. giving oh, give and go, and it's off. It's of gone. Pester out of bounds. Into the game is number 25, Joe Dietering. Myers take it across half court. Looking, is it the Brody ball, sir? Oh, kind of lob over the top, intended for Turnbull, and it was short. Nice with it. Turnbull stopping him. Five is Michael in the lane. Fifteen is Luis. And Bergman comes off with a rebound. Yeah, Bergman's got a two-inch height advantage over the tallest guy on the Miller City squad. Myers, jumper is short. Rebound comes down to Weiss. Up the floor, Nice with it. Nice, Weiss, Weiss, Nice. <laughs> Michael, the cross court, Nice from outside. It's up, no good, and Bergman's going to get a foul. Dex will have to watch that a little bit because it's going to be kind of rough and tumble. Actually, no, they're going to say it's out of bounds off of Miller City. So, it okay. must have, must have hit something then. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, well. If they're not putting anybody up on for a foul, no. so, yeah. Turnbull. In the lane, jumper is short. Bergman, jumper. Is good. good. And time out on the floor. Yes, Miller City wants to talk things over. A quick 30 second timeout. They find themselves down by seven. Aces leading nine to two. Again, glad to have you here with us. Second of our two live streams tonight from the red zone as we are wrapping up the regular season for boys basketball action. After tonight's game, the Aces have a little bit of a break, but yeah, the next time they take to the hardwood, it'll be tournament basketball action for them. That'll be next week at Pettisville. So both spots back out onto the floor. Inbounds to Ross Nice, and here come the Wildcats. Oh, Nice crossed the 10 second line with it. Gives to Rui. Or Weiss, sorry. Weiss with it. The Dietering. Dietering. Dietering working.
working on slattery and it's oh. jumper is up and good. Ross Nice. So that gives him four. Steal by Nice. And another now, two. Now he's got six. And that makes it a nine to six game. And just like that, Nice's seven point leads cut to just three. Myers with it. Looking, looking. Gives it to Turnbull. Turnbull tries to go down inside. Gives it to Bergman. Bergman's up against the rim. And he's going to be fouled on the rebound shot. Going to shoot a pair. Credit Jackson. Zero with the personal. Bergman just hang, hung in there, knowing he was either going to get a bucket or a foul. Yeah. He got kind of slapped around, but Bergman's first one was short. The score remains 9-6. Bootman will come in and spell slattery. He must be the enforcer. <laughs> there we go. Seven points for Bergman. Makes it 10 to six, aces. Dietering with the ball on the outside. Bergman nice. got his hands on it. Yeah. Cross back to you. Oh my. Couldn't do anything else. He was past the hoop. Yep. Little showtime there from yeah. Jackson Bergman. Had some elevation, he could have double slammed it backwards. Yeah. Shot from outside and Michael and a rebound goes to Putman. Under two minutes to go here in our opening quarter. Myers with it. Looking around, gives it to Turnbull. Turnbull, move to the right, ball sir. Inside to Hootman, back to Turnbull. Turnbull in the lane, drives, lays nice. it up, and good. His first two points. In the corner with the bird guy. Stolen. Stolen by Turnbull. Quickly, down the floor, lays it in. Four points for Turnbull. Nice shot, no good. Bergman rebound. He went right over the top yep. of Dietery, or uh, Nice. Bergman into the lane, outside to Myers. Oh, 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 gee money. Wow. That it's makes like, it 19 to six. It's like somebody's hot. Weiss gives it up to Nice. Michael holding up one finger down low, so we're going to play for one shot. Yep. 24 seconds. Turnbull trying to force the action here. Down to 10. Oh, about had it. Burgai to rebound. Oh. Gotta wave that one. Oh out. my oh. god. Oh it, it didn't count, but it that, looked good. That's still highlight real kind yes. of stuff. It looked good. Saw at the end of the first quarter of play. It's aces 19 and the Miller City Wildcats six. So our first break in the action and our first opportunity to say a big thank you to our basketball broadcast underwriters, the Jim Smith family of automotive dealerships in Hicksville, Ohio. If you're in the market for a vehicle, be it one that's brand new or pre-owned, a car, truck, van, or SUV, you ought to yourself to stop by and check out the great selection they have on the lots at Jim Schmidt Chevrolet Buick and at Jim Schmidt Ford right here in Hicksville. Or, of course, you can check out the entire Daryl inventory online anytime at jimschmidtauto.com. Don't see what you're looking for? Let the folks at Jim Schmidt know. They always try to find you exactly the vehicle that you are interested in. It's all about service before, during, and after the sale at the Jim Schmidt family of automotive dealerships in Hinsdale, Ohio. Jim Schmidt Chevrolet Buick, Jim Schmidt Ford, and online 
at jimschmidtauto.com. I want to thank them so very much for being our basketball broadcast underwriters here on Hicksville Community Television. No, so, the uh, the sheet here uh, said the Deuces were five and ten this year. They're not. They're eight and ten. Eight and ten. There we go. Yeah. A little typo there. A little typo was all. Jack Shock usually doesn't. Yeah, he don't make mistakes. Yeah. That the computer yes, must have made the mistake. The fire is proofreader. Yeah. Auto correct. <laughs> I wish I could fire that sometimes. <laughs> Knees up the floor with it over to Rui. Rui, knocking him down. Now he's froze, comes over to Weiss. Pastor. Pastor, and Rui, down low, goes to Dietering. Back outside, over to Weiss. Out of, bounds. out of bounds, goes to Hicksville. Bergman coming back into the game. Putman setting down. Yeah. Only one team foul committed by the Aces in that first quarter, and the Wildcats racked up three. Two of them by one play. Yeah. yeah. Rui has got a couple of them hanging around his neck. He's still out there on the floor, though. Turnbull. Oh, got it. Outed. And he got fouled. Nice got the foul. That's his second. Team foul number four. And Nice will come out. He's not happy either. Nope. Turnbull's free throw is no good. Slattery rips it out of there. And it goes heading to the out of bounds line. And it was last touch. Oh, my goodness. Yep. This slaughter, he was standing on the line and yep. threw it off of him. Klima into the game for the first time tonight. He'll give Balzer a breather. Ace is still up 21 to 6. Weiss. With the ball, Rui, Rui, out to Weiss, cross court to Michael. Michael to the hoop, lays it in. That was a nice pick that was set for him. Makes it 21 to eight. Ace is still with the lead. Slatter to Turnbull. Turnbull with the jumper, short. Oh. Quickly down the floor. Michael with it. Over to Rui. Knocked away by Myers. Myers. There he goes. Plays it in. Eight points for Josh. 23 to eight now. Rui around Turnbull. Holy oh. cow. That was a good foul by Klima. Dietering at the line. Send him to the line. Joe Dietering. 6-2 forward. It's the first one. That'll make it 23-9. Burgai back in the ball game. Free throw is good. Dietering hits them both. Into the game, number 22, Jaden. Newberman from the JV game, number 22. He's half of what his number was. <laughs> Turnbull over to Klima. Myers inside to Bergman. Spins off the glass. Good. Bergman's developing some touch. He's got 11 points so far tonight. Rui gives it. Weiss to Michael. Nice defense by Klima there. Newberman. Rui down low. Looking, looking. 
will have a foul. And Myers had a hold of his wrist. Josh Myers gets his first personal. And that's team foul number three on the Aces. Common foul. So out of bounds on the baseline to the Wildcats. Really shot good. We have a timeout. That's going to be the Aces taking their first timeout. Quick 30 second timeout. Still up by 13, 25 to 12. But the last thing they want is to go a little bit cold and have the right. Wildcats hit a hot streak. That is for sure. Because that 13 point lead could go poof. You don't want that to happen. That is a fact. Don't need that happening. That's uh, Burgai. He is their uh, leading rebounder. He averages 5.9 rebounds. And Austin Rui is their leading scorer at 11.6. So they must be balanced. Yep. They're not very high so in the far, scoring level. Yeah, because so far Rui's been held to just two points. Yeah. Unless he's one that gets hot in the second half. Yeah, he gets excited maybe in the second half and covers some ground. Turnbull to Myers from way out there. Oh. Holy cow. <laughs> Coach, Coach is <laughs> smiling from ear to ear. 28 to 12. Holy smokes. Michael spins his uh, bird eye out front to Rui. It's off and headed to the sideline. Throws it back into. Rui is up off the glass. We're going to have two shot foul. Number two, White. That'll be Myers' second personal. And Austin Rui at the line. Can't let him shoot free throws. Yeah. Just can't. That's the easy way to get him back in a ball game. Balser will come in, and Turnbull will get a breather. Gets them both. Not surprising if he's the leading scorer on their team. Yes. Yep, four points right now. Klima spins to give it to Meyer. I'm surprised Meyer didn't crank one up there. In the corner to Balser, coming around, looking back, cross court to Myers. Bergman on the point to Klima from outside. It's up, no good. good. Rebound, Bergai. Uh, nice in the lane. Bergman with a block. Here we go. No. He got, he got his uh, feet a little bit in the wrong direction there. That one's good. From the corner, it's Rui. That makes it 28 to 17 and cuts the Aces lead to 11. Slattery with the ball. Yes, it is. Down inside, comes back out. Balser, bingo. Brody Balser coming into his own at that three point. Now 31 17 aces. Nice, the Burgai. Back to Rui. Three minutes to go here in the second quarter. Rui inside. Noverman. Oh, rejected. Rebound goes back. Noverman. Nice. Working out on the wing. Michael cut off there. Klima did a nice job. Defensively ended up with the ball. Aces. Myers will take his time bringing it up the court. Let the Aces set their offense. Run a little clock. Yep. Nice, or, uh, yeah, Klima. 
Clem has come a long way since he started the season on the JV You're spot. right. Ball, sir, no, not that no. time. Rui up the left side, lays it up and good. Heads for the hoop, you can't stop him. We have a timeout called. By the Aces. So the Aces will take a full one minute timeout here with 1.59 left on the clock before we reach half time. I was talking about their leading scorers at 11.6. Hicksville has uh, Landon Turnbull at 15.2 and Jackson Bergman at 12.6. So we have two of them that's yep. up higher on the list than they are. And Bergman right now with 11 points unofficially. And I've got uh, Turnbull for six. Upper deck again, providing the musical entertainment this evening. They've done a great job all season long. Hats off to Zach Kohlmeyer. He's their instrumental music instructor and the director of the upper deck band. Doing a great job this year. Yeah. They've always sounded decent inside this yep. building. No. All right, Aces will break huddle and so do the Wildcats. Here we go. With the Hicksville's ball out, out of bounds midcourt. Coming into this game, Miller City was seven and 14. So not exactly a Miller City year, but you can see some of that yep. JVs, you know, those freshmen playing out there, they're pretty good. Yeah, they've got some Turnbull to the hoop, rolls up, no good. Slattery gets the rebound and puts it up and oh. in and out. And oh. Dietering with the rebound. We don't need that to start happening. No. So that should have been two, but yes. Slats gave it an effort. Rui out front, shooting from downtown and got off it. the glass. It's good. That Banks is still open. 31 to 22. It's at a nine-point lead. As Miller City just keeps chipping away. Slattery coming across. Up on top. Looking to get rid of it. Gets it to Turnbull. So under a minute to go here. Balser, want to hold it. Klima looking for somebody that gives it to Slattery. The Turnbull. 45 seconds, long time to hold the ball. Turnbull out there with it. Over to Klima. About traveled inside to Bergman. It's good. good. That was one that hit under the rim and went up crawling over the top. So here we go, 18 seconds. 11 points. They'll be glad to go in nine points down. Or maybe eight. Dietering, or uh, Bergai with a rebound. Bucket. So at the half, it is Aces 33 and Miller City 24. Whew. Well, we've reached the intermission. And again, it's the homestanding Aces leading the Wildcats 33 to 24. Got to have a bit of a break here. But we invite you to stick around. Jim and I will be back. And we will have all the exciting second half play-by-play -play coming your way right here on Hicks TV. Welcome back to the Red Zone, everybody. We're about a minute, 20 seconds away from 
tipping off the third quarter in this varsity basketball contest. And if you're just joining us, welcome. And at halftime, it's the Aces leading the Wildcats of Miller City by nine. 33 to 24 and Jim let's take a look at those unofficial scores okay for Miller City they have uh, Ross Neese had three baskets for six points and uh, Michael he had one basket for two Austin Rui had two baskets and two trays and two free throws for a total of 11 12. or 12 yeah. sorry and Joe Dietering had two free throws for two, and John Burgai had one basket for two. For Hicksville, Josh Myers had the hot hand in the first half. He had three trays and a basket for a total of 11. Brody Balser hit a tray. Uh, Jackson Bergman had six baskets, one free throw for 13. And Landon Turnbull had three buckets for a total of six. So, three aces accounting for all but two of the 33 points, or all but three of the 33 points. Yes. So, one or two other Hicksville players starts to get hot here in the second half. Yeah, be a we, good thing. We need to get Slattery and get a couple buckets yep. out there. And Mason was robbed a couple times. Yeah. He had a couple that I can't, I still don't understand how he couldn't have, how the, that ball did not go down the cylinder. Yep. They're recognizing the upper deck band and also the members of the Hicksville Police Force that have <laughs> been here for almost every game. So. Some well-deserved recognition. Yes. Ball serving his Turnbull lob uh -huh. inside to Bergman. Ball oh. taken right out of his hand. Nice ends up with it. Rui bringing the ball up the floor. That's why you keep the ball up. Don't bring it down. Michael up down there. low. And Bergai hits four points. Josh Meyer spread the floor. Inside the Turnbull jumper from 15, good. Makes it 35 to 26. Rui coming down. Michael, ball deflected. Michael gets it back to Rui. Rui in the lane, He's gets be fouled handled. by about three guys. Yeah. 22. Turnbull. That's Landon's first personal team foul number one for the second half. Common foul. Yep. Neither team made it into the bonus in the first half. Nice to Rui from three. No good. Turnbull deflected it. Miller City with the ball. Outside, Pester, bring it across to Nice. Nice, out front, goes to Michael. Going over, over to Nice. The bird guy, up rim, no good. Slattery with a rebound. Meyer with it, down the floor. Cross to Turnbull, Turnbull. three, oh. and it's good. Could see that one was good from the start. It was right on the line. Yep. Turnbull with 11 now. Michael gets to Nice. Nice around. Is it down inside to Pester? To Rui, and we're going to have a blocking foul on Josh Meyer. That'll be three on Josh. Team foul number two on the Aces. They lead the Wildcats by a dozen, 38-26. Burgai. <laughs> Burgai came down with the ball, and Jackson, Jackson Bergman took just took it away from I'll, him. I'll take that. Yeah. Ball, sir, to Turnbull. Turnbull, stood the slattery. Get in the oh, hole. Oh, man. Man, oh, man. It just won't go down for him. Nice, gonna try three. 
Looks good. Yep. Nothing but net. That makes it 38-29. Meyer to Turnbull. Turnbull. Three Ooh. again. Landon says you want to get the shooting match. Yep. We'll put you in we'll it. We'll do that. 41-29. Rui on the outside. Give the bird eye. Bird eye. Oh, that's Josh is going to be sitting. Klima. Coach Tony Tier does not agree with that. Well, I, I think he kind of has a point. I don't think I'd agree either. Yeah, that did he, not. He look. laid him right in the chest. He said. Knees to Michael over to Rui. It's short. The Turnbull goes up and gets it. Nice. Turnbull. Not that time. Michael with the rebound. Rui with the ball up the floor. Klima is in the game, by the way, for Myers now. Berguy over to Nice. Nice. Balser on him. Nice couldn't get the shot. Rui across to Michael. Michael tries to go on Turnbull. It's stopped. Nice in the lane. Puts up the runner. It's no good. Slattery <laughs> grabbed that out of there. Yep. If you had a hold of that, you just lost an arm. <laughs> Turnbull with it, up on top. We'll take, take a break. Going to take it down to the halfway point of the quarter here. There we go, past four minutes. Over to Bergman. Bergman. In the lane, spin, out front to Klima, across to Balser, go into the wheel now. Bergman, in the lane, down to Brody. Balser, Got Bro it. <clears throat> that was a lot of time run got, off. Yeah, they got, and they got Brody uh, free with a nice clean look at the hoop, and yeah. uh, he buried it. Bergman slaps that one out into the first yeah, row of the bleachers. Time out for Miller City. It's 44-29 with 317 remaining in the third quarter. So that'll be the second one called by the Wildcats. They'll have three remaining. Toby coming seconds. in. Owen Toby. He's a number a freshman. It's one of three freshmen that are listed on the varsity squad. The other two being Barlagi and Nice, Silas Nice. I'm surprised we haven't seen him. Yeah. He can shoot. Yeah, I said he had 15 point, well then he, he played four quarters so he could be in yeah, any time now. So he would only have two quarters of eligibility. Oh, Miller City will inbound it. Rui, the bird guy, Dietering. Is it across to Rui? Down low to bird guy. The long arm of Bergman stopped that one. Yep. Dietering gives it to Rui. Toby, Toby, Nice with it. Nice down the side, off the glass, no good. Rebound, Bergman. Klima and Nice go down the pile. Turnbull, Turnbull. to the hoop, off the uh -huh. glass, and good. Turnbull makes it 46 to 29. 16 for Turnbull. Nice. Inside, Dietering, Slattery, hold it. That's the way. Wow, gee, money, his hand above the rim. Yep. Bergman with a nice rebound. Turnbull carries the ball. Yeah, it'll be a travel. Travel. Yep. 
Boshier's going, and wait a minute, doesn't he get a step? The other guys get steps? Yes. Why didn't my guy get steps? And one guy took two. <laughs> two oh, well, two minutes exactly really. now. Really? 17, it's off the rim, no good. Klima. And we're going to have a foul. Yeah, that's going to be on, Number I think, Number 23, uh, Toby. Yep. Rui going to come out. They're sending Weiss in. Going to put some heat on now. We see how much quickness they got. Because you're going to get it. Turnbull. Toby on him. Turnbull up. On the point. Over to Klima. Klima around. Spins. Gives it to Bergman. Bergman coming around. Spins. Nice move. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Count it. He's going Her to guy is going to get that foul, I believe. Bucket's good. Yep. 32. It's Burr guy. Team foul number two for the second half. And Bergman goes to the line. 48-29 aces. No good. This is it. Burr guy with the rebound. And Slattery almost grabbed that one. Burr guy got in there. Dietering with the ball in the corner. Bring it out on top to Nice. Nice on Balser. Nice break that one up. Balser ends up with the loose ball. Turn ball to Balser. The Klima. Over to Bergman. Yes. Slattery. Bring up it out. There, yep. Turn ball. No. Oh, wow. Unreal. He's getting he further a, out on every shot. He had a, just enough spin on that ball. It, it actually arced just a little bit to go into the hoop. Yeah. Nice. Long one. No nice. good. No. Bergman deflects nice. it inbounds. Turnbull behind oh, his nice back. Move. Toby almost had it and couldn't get to it. Bergman back to Turnbull. Holy and smokes. A three. Oh, oh, my golly. Are we feeling it, he says. <laughs> 54 to 29. Oh my golly. 15 seconds left in the quarter. Weiss driven the ball up on top. Down to Six. five seconds. Dietering. Nice from the corner. It's up. It's no good. Klima with the rebound. And at the end of three quarters of the play, it is 54 to 29, Hicksville in the lead. Woo. Wow. Well, we got uh, uh, some time here. I want to say another big thank you to the Jim Schmidt Family of Automotive Dealerships in Hicksville, Ohio, our basketball broadcast underwriters, Jim Schmidt Chevrolet Buick, Jim Schmidt Ford, and, of course, online at jimschmidtauto.com. It is our last home game from here at the Red Zone. I cannot thank Jim Schmidt enough for being with us, underwriting all of our ACES sports coverage for the 2020-2021 school year. A challenging year to say the least. They've been with us all the way for football, volleyball, wrestling, basketball as well. We cannot thank them enough. We hope that you will do the same. Remember, anytime you see ACES sports action on Hicksville Community Television, whether it's on the Hicksville Community Television Facebook page, the Hicks TV YouTube channel, or Mediacom Channel 12, they are the ones that help make it possible. The Jim Schmidt family of automotive dealerships right here in Hicksville, Ohio. Jim Schmidt Chevrolet Buick. Jim Schmidt Ford and online at jimschmidtauto.com. We want to thank them once again for another terrific year of Aces sports action on Hicksville Community Television. So we'll start the, start the fourth quarter here with Miller City having the ball. Alan Miller officiating. Gives the ball to him, and we're off for the final eight minutes. Dietering with the ball outside. Gives it over to Weiss. Toby still in the game. Rui on the outside. Toby gets the ball. Tries to get inside. Gets cut off. Rui has it on the wing. Dietering. Rui, hold the 
the ball. The Aces are just doing a great job. They're not letting them have much of anything inside or down low. Toby is short. No good. Chases it down himself. Gives it back to Weiss. Weiss over to Rui. Down low it goes. Burgai and will be fouled. He got fouled. But number one. Burgai will be at the line for a pair. It's team foul number four on the aces and Aaron Klima second. Jaden Newman getting ready to check in. We saw him in the JV game. And then no good. No good. Dietering going to come out. Giving up some size. Yeah. You know, Newman doesn't hesitate about picking up a foul here or there. That's true. Mm -hmm. That's true. He doesn't mind bumping and running. He, he bangs a little. Oh, got the that one. second one is good. Five points for John Burgai. Boxer to Turnbull. Bergman. Bergman. No. Oh. Bergman rebound. rebound. And Draw the foul. Burgai get that one. 15. Weiss. Got it. That one's good. Myers back into the game for the Aces. As Burgai will have a seat for Miller City. Free throw is no good. So, yes, yeah, 16. 55 to 30, a 25 point lead for the Aces. Rui Newberman, Nice. Weiss. Rui, no good. Rebound, Slattery. He might not be scoring, but he's doing the job. Boom! Coach might as well. I've sit. got. Coach might as well sit down and watch this. At Turnbull five three pointers tonight. I don't know what the record is for most three Seven. points in a game. Seven. All right. He's getting there. Yes. Might not be long. Oh! <laughs> oh! Now he's laughing. <laughs> I'm going to have to check it. He's got six. Knees up and off the glass. Good. Timeout called after that. It's 61 32 aces with five minutes, 31 seconds left to go in regulation. Fourth quarter action. Most three-pointers per game, individual. Uh, that's the women's. That was seven. <laughs> Most three-pointers. Three points. Six. Six is the record. Jared Headley, Stuart Turnbull, Logan Houston. Now how many do we have? Six? Yep. So he just tied the record. Yep. Houston, Turnbull, and Headley have all had six three-pointers in a game. And now add Landon Turnbull's name to that. Yeah. Let's let him have another one. <laughs> all right. We're going to break huddle. 531 to go. And Aces ball out of bounds on the baseline. Get the Turnbull the ball and watch well, history have, be made. We're gonna have Turnbull do the inbounds. Hootman back on the floor for the Aces. Meyer is too. And 
out of bounds off of Myers. He tripped himself up a little bit. <laughs> Just take me out, coach. I mean, it was my bad. Neefs with the ball for Miller City. Weiss over to Michael. To Rui. Rui. And Bergman. I'll, I don't care. I'll do a foul. Yeah, yeah. I'll take that one. Bergman's first personal. And team foul number five on the aces. So that's going to put young Mr. Rui onto the uh, free throw line. Got that one. 61-33, a 28-point lead now for the Aces. Got them both. 27-point lead now for Hicksville. Turnbull bringing it up. Michael on him. Yeah, he keeps grabbing him. Yeah. Michael gets his first personal, and that's team foul number four. four. It'll be out of bounds to the Aces with 4.59 to go in the game. Hoopman will draw the foul. 22. That's Newcomen. Yep. Team foul number five. Again, a common foul on the floor, away from the basketball. Turnbull. Not that short. one. Nope. Back out to him. Down low to Boston Hootman, and he's going to be fouled. Yeah. We used to put a saddle on him there. Yeah, I about to say, he almost took a ride on his shoulders. Yeah. Come on, Boston. Sink them, baby. Sink them. In and out. They have sink one. You've got one more. You've got to give them a point here. Nope. Nope. Slattery. Slattery. Better. There we go. That's Mason's first bucket of the night. Yes, it is. Rui. Denise. Nice gives to Rui. Rui. And Putman's going to get the foul. 23. Bergai into the game. It's team foul Newberman. number six. So next uh, foul committed against the Wildcats will put Miller City into the bonus. All right. Nice pass. <laughs> Not sure what he was thinking there. But, but a guy stepped one way and then went back and yeah. disappeared. It was like he threw the ball in and he was just standing there going, oh my gosh, I can't believe this I is going to happen. But did, not, I, did I yeah, really do that? Nothing's going to stop it from happening. There you go. Hoopman. Yes. There we go. Bergai down, Bergman deflects it off of Miller City. Yeah. Out of bounds. Hootman, of course, uh, one of the seniors on the squad and not one that gets a lot of playing time, but a really popular young man. So hasn't, hasn't scored you, a lot of points. You this can year. tell that the crowd likes it when he gets in and he gets the opportunity to get some points. Yeah. Left out of bounds. Michaels is not going to let Turnbull shoot. Yeah. Balser back into the game. Slattery going to take a seat. And he may not be back in the game. He's they left him in there and he got his two points. 
want to make sure all the seniors score. Really with a rebound. 65-34 aces leading by 21. Weiss from outside got a or three. 65-37. With just about three minutes left in the game. Oh. Now he's pushing it. Yeah. Starting to think about it. So. Yeah. Really from three. That's good. Seventeen points for Rui. Oh. Boston gonna sit down. You calm it down a little bit, fellas. And Boston Hoopman comes out for the last time in a regular season game. Bergman is it out. Myers. Nope. Klima, Klima. nice rebound. Brewey, the other rebound. Weiss to Michael in the corner. Not that time. <laughs> Here, you take it. Yeah. I thought you were one of them. I was going to elbow you. Josh Meyer up front. Turnbull come around. Oh, Bergman. Didn't win it. Rolled out of bounds, so. Well, I don't think Turnbull's going to break the record tonight. I'm not sure maybe Coach here. I'm sure Coach here must be aware. But, oh, yeah. If he hasn't, somebody has told him. So, J.R. Mendoza into the game. Rui with the ball. Working on ball, sir. From three, it's no good. That one's off of Bergman and out of bounds. Barlagi into the Barlagi. game now, too. Yeah, number two. Yep. At Michael. 5'8", Barlagi is... One of the shortest guys on the squad. Bergman. Uh oh. Here uh -oh. we go. And he's fouled. Yeah, you didn't want him getting hurt. 65 40 aces leading by 25. Bergman at the line. 20. Rui. That's Austin, Austin's third. And team foul number seven. So aces in the bonus for the remaining 90 seconds of this game. Boom. Bergman's had a good night. Yes, he has. Got them both. Gets it 18 on the evening. And he'll step out. He's very in the game. Yep. He's this one well in hand with a minute and a half to go and a 27-point lead. Kleeman's the center on the floor now. Yeah. <laughs> and a lot of the younger players in for Miller City as well as they kind of put up the white flag. Tipped away. Oh, Josh still on the floor. Klima, drive around, Nikisberry, Mendoza. And out of bounds. Good job by JR, kind of holding off on that and letting the ball go out of bounds with a minute One three. Oh three. Klima. He's very shot, no good. Rebounded by Noberman. Dietering, deflected ball. Josh Meyer come out with it. Down to Brody. Good stuff. 
Oh, JR looks like he travels every time he gets the ball. <laughs> Said he has the way of dribbling. He has this, this, yeah. this high dribble that yeah. he does that. Yeah, I suppose it's, you know, what is this? What if, if, you have, if you have the wrong official that's on right. the floor, that's going to be like every time he gets the ball, it's like, just, hey, you carried the ball. Just what I was going to say. Yeah. They'll, they'll punch him each time. He, he won't be on the game or <laughs> on the floor long. The coach will yank him. That's going to do it. They're going to shake hands. And that's all she wrote. 67. That was a great 67 to 40. What a game. An exhibition. I'll uh, give you Miller City. All righty. Uh, we got Nice with a tray and four buckets for 11. Uh, Michael had a basket for two. Weiss had a tray for three. Uh, Dio Dietering had two free throws for two. John Burgai had two baskets and a free throw for five. And Austin Rui led them in scoring. He had three trays, two baskets, four free throws, 17 total points for their 40. There we go. On the Aces side, all right, here we go. <laughs> uh, First off, Boston Hoopman, a uh, bucket in the second half for two points. Two points as well for Mason Slattery, his bucket coming in the second half. Next in line would be Mr. Brody Balzer with a pair of three-pointers for six points tonight. Then we have Mr. Josh Myers with three threes and a bucket for 11. Following him, Jackson Bergman. Bergman with two, four. Now let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven free throws and four free throws, seven field goals, four free throws. I have him unofficially for 18 points. But he was not the leading scorer. <laughs> the leading scorer tonight tying the Hicksville Aces record for the most three-pointers in a single game with six. Landon Turnbull, six three-pointers and joining them five two-point field goals. So he finishes up not too bad tonight, 28 points. Yeah, he was over one at the free throw line. <laughs> I was about to say, it was, he didn't get the perfect game. So, uh, but uh, man, what an exhibition Boy. that they put on. We didn't quite get to see history being made, yeah. but uh, still. Miller City wasn't going to allow it. <laughs> nope, like I said, he had six, Meyer had three, and Balser had two, so that's six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven three-point shots, 33 points of the 67, the Aces, yeah. from the three-point line. So they got to be feeling good about themselves. A great win tonight, and that puts them on just the right kind of high note to head into the tournament next week, Jim. Yes, it does. They, uh, they played really well tonight. And they were, they were a team that came out in the beginning of the ball game and played it like they were going to win. That yeah. was just all there was to kinda, it. They were kinda, not going to let anybody take this one away from them. I almost kind of wonder if, you know, if Coach Tier was just telling them before they went out after the JV game saying, hey, you guys are going to need to hit them hard and hit them fast. You're going to need a hot start here tonight. And, uh, and you're going to need to be able to keep the pressure up on these guys. And that's what they did. Uh, again, they definitely just a, did. a great outing tonight. And looking forward then to uh, heading to Pettisville next yeah, week. If they play like this, if they open up like this with Pettisville, yeah. they'll come away with a big W. Yes, indeed. So, so with that, we're going to wrap things up uh, this evening. Again, our final uh, live stream broadcast of the regular season. We want to thank, again, the Hicksville Athletic Department uh, for 
everything they've done for us here for all the basketball that we have covered uh, throughout the 2020-2021 basketball season. We cannot thank them enough. Also to the Jim Schmidt family of automotive dealerships underwriting all of our basketball coverage here on Hicksville Community Television. And, of course, to all of you for uh, joining us for our broadcast. Uh, we hope that you enjoyed the coverage of a very, very entertaining basketball game here from the Red Zone tonight. Up next, it's girls sectional final basketball action coming your way tomorrow night. That'll be on the Hicksville Community Television Facebook page. Jim and I will be here for a 7 o'clock tip-off as the Lady Aces will take on the Lady Eagles of North Central in a sectional final game. With that, we're going to wrap it up for this evening. One final time, Varsity Boys basketball action final score tonight. The homestanding Aces go out on the winning side beating the Wildcats of Miller City 67 to 40. For Jim Seiler calling the play-by-play -play and Brian Williams on the iPad Pro camera, I'm Bill Murphy with Hicksville Community Television wishing you a good night and good sports.